Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you might be new. If you don't know who I am because I haven't shown myself in forever or you're new, <laughs> hello, my name is Nicole. So today I am going to be cleaning my kids' bedroom. I have three kids that do share one bedroom right now. Uh, if you haven't been following me for a while, you missed videos or you're new, I am still in the middle of a divorce. The kids and I live with my parents. Um, and sometimes this bedroom just gets really crazy. Uh, so my oldest is 12, my middle is 10, and my youngest is six. So we are trying the best that we can. The kids do take care of their own room, but sometimes it really just needs a good mom clean. And there were just so many toys and things and trash everywhere. As you could see, I was trying to get the bedding and everything off of one of my son's beds and there was toys and trash hidden in there. So I will be washing all of their bedding, replacing it, organizing this disaster. I mean, <laughs> it's a lot. Um, and the majority of the problem was the toys and the organization on those two bookshelves. Uh, the kids have stuff under the beds and then on those bookshelves as well for toys. And then in the closet, there's obviously clothes, some board games, and then the three plastic bins hold their like underwear, socks, pajamas, and swimsuits. So uh, as you can see, I was starting off here with washing one of my kids' bedding. I can't remember if I show all of them, but all of them get washed the same way. I always put the laundry sanitizer in there, um, some of the scent beads, and then my little uh, Kirkland pod or whatever they're called. Um, but I'm just going to be going through all of these toys and every little tiny thing. It really overwhelmed me. I think I honestly spent like two hours just in this corner. So I cut a lot of it out, sped it up a lot. I didn't want you guys just watching me forever over in this corner. I honestly think it took me like eight hours to complete this bedroom because there was just so much stuff everywhere. But cleaning it, organizing it, I decluttered and it was a lot better. It's more manageable for the kids now because honestly, this was somewhere between three to six weeks ago. I couldn't even tell you time is weird and I'm busy and tired and my brain is scrambled and fried all the time. But anyway, since I cleaned their room and organized it like this, it's kept up decently. Uh, my six-year-old is the one that still likes to play with toys more than my older kiddos. They're much more into video games and whatnot. So it's still a little bit like of a struggle and then they get annoyed that their room is messy because their little brother just, you know, throws toys everywhere. But I'm trying to implement like different cleaning routines for them to try and keep up with everything. Um, and they already have chores around the house anyway, like dishes. They help with laundry. They help with like outside chores. Um, we are living with my parents still right now while everything is happening, you know, just trying to get on my feet and whatnot. But um like I said, we're trying the best that we can. So if you want to come for me and be like, your children should not be sharing a bedroom. It's terrible. Well, that's all we have right now. And at least we have roof over our head. Okay, Karen, calm down. Waste of words, waste of breath. Cause I've got none to say. Thoughts stay burn inside my chest. Can take it one more day No matter how much pain I'm in No matter how Gotta think, I gotta breathe Changes to come Cause the light's just around the corner Life must go on Why won't kill me? So I probably should have worked top to bottom with these bookshelves because of all the dust and everything, but I was trying to, I don't know, like make room on the floor too. Like a lot of the stuff, like Bo has these 
two bottom shelves or these four bottom shelves. Bo is my six year old, by the way. I feel like I'm all over the place. What else is new? Um, anyway, so like all these toys and things on the floor, like pretty much are his. So they go on those bottom shelves so that way he can reach it. And then the older kids have the, you know, top shelves. Um, so I couldn't even really like stand there very well to even clean the top of the bookshelf anyway. So that's why I was kind of working backwards because there was no room. So that's, that's that situation. But otherwise I would recommend going top to bottom. I didn't need to clean their fan because that was fine. And I only took down the curtains just to add more light in the room. I didn't wash those or anything. They just, they just sit there, you know, so they were fine. Um, but I'm dusting all of the shelves. And I think you guys saw like in the intro, the top of this bookshelf was disgusting. Like I honestly am not the best duster. So and really the only things that like we kind of clean and keep track of are both of our bedrooms. So I have a bedroom right next to the kids uh, with a queen bed, but I have a bunch of overflow clothes, shoes, food, the kids' papers, like everything is in my room basically. Um, oh, and right here, I've, I, this is the actual pace that I'm going at, by the way. So just imagine like if I didn't speed up the video or whatever, like it would take forever, but that's how quickly I actually go. I wish that it was much faster like this, like we could just blink and it was done. But um, anyways, I don't really know where I was going with that. Okay, so after listening to that back, what I was saying was the things that we are in charge of cleaning. And that's why I haven't shared really any cleaning videos yet since we've been with my parents, which will be a year come June 4th. But so we take care of our bedrooms. I do clean both of the bathrooms. We have a full bathroom and then a half bath that are like on our side of the house that the kids and I use. And I did actually clean those recently and film that as well. So that should be the next video that comes out. And then otherwise we just pick up after ourselves, you know, like our toys or our food, you know, the kids' school stuff, whatever. And we do the dishes as well. And then, like I mentioned before, we help with the outside chores. So that includes picking up a billion lemons during the summer off the ground because they fall from the tree, dog poop, weeds, um, just general pickup and tidy outside as well, like the kids' bikes and scooters and all that kind of stuff. Oh, and right here you can see <laughs> I'm like questioning my life. Like, really? This sucks. Um, like I mentioned, I was, you know, getting overwhelmed and I just, it's a lot of stuff. Um, but I kept pushing on obviously because it needed to get done. Like what else am I going to do? I cannot just leave it like this, you know, like it was worse than when I started because I was trying to organize things and there was stuff everywhere, but it was chaos for a while. But if you stick with me, you will see the amazing transformation at the very end of how, the room looks after all of this like blood, sweat and tears put into this bedroom. Would you come running if I called you and give me a helping hand? Would you come catch me if I fell down towards a bitter end? You wanna talk about it You couldn't live without me You know you had your chance It's over So just go on I don't wanna care anymore There's no more Between you and me So just go There's nothing left 
So just go on. So just go on and leave. So just go on. So just go. So the way that I was trying to organize all of these toys, mostly for my six-year-old, again, as I mentioned, was um, these bins that you see. And I didn't go buy anything for this project. I just, you know, used what I had on hand already. But I tried to put one bin with all of his, like, cars and trucks. One bin with all of his, like, action figures. Another bin with dinosaurs. Another bin that had, like, Pokemon toys. Uh, another bin that had like little people and stuff like he has a bunch of little characters from Ryan's world so I was just trying to organize it by like things and then obviously like the books all together and stuff like that and then I think I put like all of his dress up stuff in a bin under the bed um, and you'll see me get to under the bed my goodness there was a lot of stuff under there and then I even found something smushed under the mattress that I don't even know when that got there or how long it's been there, but stick around and find out what it was. Not long ago, you got hurt, someone did you wrong. I can see it in your eyes, it's like your fire is gone. Across your face, it is written across your face. If you want to talk, I'm right here, not gonna leave your side. Just feel free to open up when the moment's right. Across your face, it is written across your face. If you want to go out, we can go out. You can hide away just for one night. But if you want to cry, just let it out. I'm by your side.
I really like that song and I wanted the whole thing to play because it's so true. Um, I know there's a lot of other women on YouTube and off of YouTube, obviously, as well, that have been through a divorce or is going through a tough season, regardless if you are married or not. And you're not alone, regardless of what you're struggling with. As, as I've gone through this journey and talked to many friends and family members about everything, everybody is dealing with something. Everybody is messed up. Everybody has an anxiety or depression of some form. So just keep going. It is difficult in that season and it feels like it will never end. And now that I am, you know, well a year or more actually like into all of this, I have really leaned on God. Actually, I really have enjoyed going to church. Um, that has made a huge difference as well as spending time with supportive family and friends. Um, and just talking to people, not isolating myself. It's been extremely difficult and tough and by no means is it easy. Now it's still very difficult. I still struggle every single day with being a single mom dealing with, you know, what I'm going through and, balancing everything because I am still working from home for the same company I have collectively for like six years or whatever it's been. Um, and I obviously have to, you know, support myself. So I've been working basically full time now in between getting the kids to and from activities and school doctor appointments, you know, just things like that. Like life does not slow down and it has not slowed down. And I don't think that it really ever will. Um, Connor had done flag football in the fall. He just finished his first baseball season. It was amazing. I really enjoyed it. Um, he definitely wants to do it again. And I'm on board for that. Lacey is in a competitive cheer competition class, whatever you call it. But she said she wanted to try volleyball soon. And then I just found a free sewing class at a library nearby and she did get a sewing machine for her birthday. Yes, her birthday. Um, and so, you know, she has been very much into wanting to like craft and sew. And she's very like artsy and creative. So I'm glad that I found that free class for her. So uh, she's doing that. And then Bo is in an art class at school. And now with summer right around the corner, they're going to be in swimming lessons. We're still going to be doing the uh, sewing class and stuff like that. So it's just like, is never ending. But honestly, that's like helpful because the busier I am, the less time I have to just sit in my feelings and think about what's happening and stuff like that. Um, so just remember you're not alone. Um, I do have my Instagram and my Facebook links in the description box. If you guys ever need somebody to talk to, or you just want to vent, um, or anything like that, I am here if you need to talk to anybody. Aren't you tired of the drama? You use your words like they are knives. Mm -hmm. I don't need that type of drama and trying to be tough all the day time. Make yourself feel better by taking me down Once I fell, but now I'm strong, I'm ready for the rematch Looking at me so cold Get over yourself, are you for real? Mm -hmm. Why are you looking at me so cold? One's love is now we're enemies You try to make yourself feel better By taking me down Once I fell, but now I'm strong I'm ready for the rematch
It was a foam football that was squished in between the bed spring thing or whatever. Like that's a trundle bed. So it was stuck in between that. I had no idea. Like, how are my kids sleeping on this? I couldn't even tell you. Um, but anyway, <laughs> uh, also my tripod broke at some point in time. So I'm pretty sure now I have like my little miniature tripod that I normally use for like sit down videos, um, or I'm just propping up the camera on the floor or the table or the bed or whatever. So there are some weird angles coming up, but there was no way that I was like not going to finish filming this for you guys. So I apologize for the wonky angles and things. Also, like, I have not filmed a cleaning video in a while, so I felt pretty rusty filming it. Also, then my tripod broke. Um, and even, like, editing the video because I haven't done this in forever, like, Sandlot style. Forever. Uh, it felt good to, like, get back into it, though, when I have the time. Like I said, like even right now, I'm not clocked in because I'm doing this because it's been sitting here on my to-do list for weeks. But hey, here I am getting it done. You're welcome. One day it's over, baby. Someday we'll find a way out. When all our strings are broken, you'll see that we could do without. When all our dreams are over, when all our hopes are dead. With this town turning colder, with all our colors bleeding red. A big wrinkled when the storms are hit. I sing you any song you wanna hear.
So at some point in time, my tripod breaks. So I think I already mentioned that, but it's been like a week since I did the last portion of the voiceover. So I don't really remember what I said. Um, so you're, I think about to see some weird angles coming up with like the bookshelf and then up in the closet and stuff like that. But this work is so tedious, you guys, like all of those little teeny tiny things, those top three shelves are my daughter's shelves and she's 12. So she's still got a little bit of a mix of like some kind of like dolls and toys, but then it's just mostly like books and there's like some earrings and stuff like that. That was also one of the bins underneath the bed that I was going through was a bunch of her stuff that she had gotten for her birthday and Christmas um, and just hadn't really been organized or anything. So I was trying to just put like things together, like I've mentioned before, to just try to make some sense of all of the chaos because you guys can see there's a ton of stuff. So I don't know if anybody has any uh, ideas and solutions for storage and stuff, but it's difficult. <laughs> it's difficult. But um, I just wanted to show you like my progress here, what the room was looking like, like halfway through this process. Like some areas are done, some are not. Obviously, I was still washing the bedding as well. So Lacey is on the bottom bunk, Bo is on the top bunk, and then Connor is on the side uh, trundle bed if you were wondering. So there's like stuff all over the walls and sometimes they even switch beds. Like Lacey used to be on the trundle bed and Connor used to be on the bottom bunk. At one point, Bo was on the trundle bed. So that's why there's like a girly cat poster near Connor's bed because that used to be Lacey's bed and I'm not trying to continually move the things on the walls to match like where their beds are. It's close enough together that it's still there. They can still see it and it's good enough. You know, that's what I'm going for is like, I'm trying, it's good enough, it better than it, it's better than it was type of mentality because I know that like, it's not gonna be perfect and it's not gonna be, you know, anywhere remotely nice for a while. So I'm just trying to do the best that I can and that's all we can really ask for, right? So I did go ahead and empty out the little container of my vacuum here. I didn't get it on camera, but um, it just didn't seem like it was vacuuming very well. I mean, I try to vacuum in here like once a week, but that doesn't always happen. Um, and I was trying to do like that slow vacuum method as well, where, you know, you vacuum normal, but then you go a lot slower over it because it pulls more junk out of the carpet. So that's what I was also trying to do. Um, and yeah, it just, it felt like it wasn't like, you know, picking things up very well. So I went ahead and emptied it really quick and then I was continuing on. So I actually got this vacuum like recently from Walmart. Um, I just had ordered it online because if you guys remember that other vacuum that I had from Amazon, Matt kept that because my parents have a vacuum here. They still do, but <laughs> they were my old vacuums. And one of them only does carpet. One of them only does like tile or hardwood or whatever. And they're just super old and I didn't want to deal with it anymore. So I bought myself a new vacuum to use here. <laughs> so I've been really enjoying it. Um, I looked for the vacuum I used to have. They literally don't make it anymore, which is so sad. Like I even checked Shark's website. I checked Amazon. I did find a couple like refurbished ones on eBay, but that made me nervous. Plus they were more expensive. So I just went with a completely different vacuum. Um, I don't even know what the heck this is that I have, but it's been working great. And here's the weird um, angles that I was talking about for the closet and stuff because the tripod broke, but don't worry, I have a new one now. 
Um, I was just trying to organize the kids' clothes and like move the empty hangers to the ends because this right section is laces and then the left side the boys have it split. So I always try to keep the empty hangers at the ends in case anybody needs any more, then they're just kind of easier to find. And like I was saying, I think before this top section, like you guys saw, it's all crooked, it's crammed, it's crazy. So I was trying to organize it, take things out that we don't use, like the bag of swimsuits in that right corner I couldn't even tell you how old those are. Like, I think we've had those swimsuits since I lived at home, like, you know, 15 plus years ago. So I moved them to a different area of the house because they were serving no purpose here in the kids' closet. They were just taking up space. I want to thank you guys so much for watching today. Please forgive me as I continue to deal with this difficult time in my life and continue this transition to being a single mom and getting back on my feet. Thank you guys for the support. A lot of you have continued to reach out and message me over this last year, just kind of checking in, wondering if I'm coming back or if I've left YouTube. So thank you guys for being so supportive. If for some reason you are new, please consider subscribing if you have not already. And if you're not following me on Instagram or Facebook, those links are down below, as I mentioned before, if you'd like to connect with me over there. But I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I will see you next time. Bye.